This is Anderson Penn's podcast episode 275 for Wednesday, June 13th, 2018. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> what are the lion and the witch doing in your wardrobe? I don't know. It's Narnia business. <laughs> That's almost good. That's good, Still right? didn't make that's me good. laugh, but that's, that's, good. that's almost good. That's good. Do you know what Wednesday, June 13th is? What is Wednesday, June 13th? What's June 13th every year? The day after June 12th. I don't know. What is June 13th? Your daughter's birthday. <laughs> <clears throat> Happy birthday, Lindsay. Uh, no, I have to do the math. She's 23. Yeah, you do the math. I screwed the okay. date up. So. 95. 95. She's, She's 95. No, <laughs> 1995. Oh, okay, 1995. She's not 95. So, okay. anyway, thanks for joining us. Um, because I'm, it's good to like, see you. Thank you. It's good to be, it's good to be seen, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> Brian was gone. He was only gone for two days, but it was... It seemed like a lifetime without you. Oh, my God. Brian was gone for two days down in Chicago. It was awesome. I got the bed to myself. I got the office to myself. The cat to yourself. The cat to myself. The kids to myself. Um, I did have to work the store by myself, so that was nerve-wracking. But but you're back. Here we are. We'll talk about we'll days. talk about that in a little bit. We've got Didn't we like have a whole ton of stuff last week and now here this week we've got a ton of stuff. You know, I just wanted to make sure that you weren't bored. Okay. So. Okay. Well, uh, let's let's hit it then. Um, right. right off the bat, Visconti Vertigos. Now we got to see these in uh, Chicago at the Chicago show, mm -hmm. and then uh, we got to fondle these at our Chicago store when we had the Visconti event. Yeah, this is this is really these are cool. this is a good looking pen. The Visconti Vertigo. Uh, three colors. We've got blue, kind of a blue. These are all kind of a blue. Well, how would you describe this? Marbly. Uh, marbly. They're more rivers and lakes kind of thing. Um, blue. There's a, a really pretty, like a caramel coffee brown, with like a black. Toffee, yeah. yeah, and then there's this nice, this nice burgundy. burgundy. Um, but this is a, a whole new, different design Wait. for Visconti. Yes, magnetic caps. Magnetic. You want that. Um, Magnets. But it's a new new design for Visconti. You know, Visconti will, you know, they've got their Rembrandts, their Van Goghs, their operas, their Homo sapiens, and sometimes they just bring out new stuff that's in the, the old model. This faceted. is faceted. Uh, but I it's it's a like tapered these. it's a tapered facet. This and so they they alternate. You know, I love the patterns, the materials that Visconti uses. You're not even listening. I'm not. <laughs> we're married. I don't have to listen to you. Um, I love the size. Yeah. This is a great size. I like the the facets. I like the taper. Oh my god. Metal section, but it has this nice metal knob on the end. Um, it's a cartridge converter filler, so it's not this is not to be confused with a piston or anything like that or a power reserve, but it looks nice. It's a nice touch. It balances out the section. Um, and the nib is 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 different. It's unique. Ooh. Uh, it's a fresh start on Sp this pen. Explain it to me. Um, it's a steel nib. Okay, gotcha. But sir. it has this beautiful gold. How would you say this? Weave a gold overlay on top of the nib. Oh yeah. That's so really cool. unlike now, when you say gold overlay, sometimes people think, okay, the first thing they think is that Delta Fusion nib, where it was a steel nib, but it had this little gold plate over it. Mm -hmm. This is this is like a. I don't know it's how like you. It's like a corset. It's like a corset. <laughs> Just kind of an overlay. I don't know. No, it's good looking. Um, it's a unique. It's very unique. It's nobody very else cool. makes a nib like this. No, this you know. is. It you know it. It's just enough of a design or or um, an item of interest to be interesting, but it's not so overdone that it's obnoxious or. Um, well, you get a lot of gaudy. a lot of companies will make a steel nib or even a gold nib, and they'll they'll make it a two tone. So it's right. really getting hard to become unique with. Well, I'm going to put a platinum mask on the outside, or I'm going to put platinum mask right. on the inside. So this is this is complete different. It's a nice look, um, and uh, threaded converter on this. So oh, that's nice. nice. Yeah, I, I was, like threaded converters. Yep, yep. They don't fall out. Many don't, but. 
this way you're always ensured that it's going to stay. Yeah. So I guess the only question is toffee, caramel, or burgundy? Which one do I want? Help me out. Somebody tell me. I think you want that one. Tell me that what one, to do. That one you want. The blue is nice. I like. I, I like them all. They're they're real solid colors. I know, but I have so many blue pens. I'm well, trying to no, branch out. No, no, that's why I'm saying. Say you should get this one. I have that's brown the one pens. You get. Well, I don't know. Somebody tell the, me. Tell me what burgundy. I should get. They get the blue. All right. So anyway. All right. Anyway. What else? Uh, Vertigo uh, fountain pens. Um, fine medium broad uh, and. Um, in Chicago, we do have the ballpoints too, so yes, uh, we can yes. get the ballpoints and rollerballs. Uh, on the complete other end of the spectrum, these have been really popular. I don't. I'm not quite sure why. I have to confess. So I think what this is, this is the Platinum Preppy Crystal. I think what this is is this is an easy way for, because what's a, one of the first things we did when we got preppies? Lava lampy. Well, you can love a lampy, yes. But one of the first things we did is we, we took off all those stickers on the barrel. Oh, right, right. And so Platinum just has done it for us. Now, the clip in the top is now also a clear color. It doesn't represent, you know, that usually it represents the color of the cartridge, but it's all clear. Yes. Um, just a nice, tasteful logo on the barrel. I was shocked at how many we sold as soon as yeah. we got these in. Yeah. Um, I, I, I like the look better than the colored ones. Okay, okay. So. A little little classier. I guess I skipped over these. You here. did. You want to talk you about did. those? Um, so anyway, so, Puppy yeah. Crystal. Puppy Crystal. Uh, another thing we have that's new on the market are the coloring color color decks. Say that ten times fast. No, um, we've had the colorings from Skylab Letterpress and Well Appointed Desk for a while, um, and those are great. Uh, terrific way to organize your ink, and now we have. Their new product, these fit in one of the um, Rolodex, uh, the old style Rolodex. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when you started in business decades I, we ago? We had Rolodexes. We had Rolodexes, yeah. and that was like a big thing. Um, you could either hand write in people's information or you could um, staple or uh, tape in a business card. Yeah, yeah. Same concept, only for ink. So. And so now you can flip through um, your ink. Uh, on the Rolodex, I think it's a really awesome um, retro kind of concept. And then there are, um, so you get, you can buy the cards, and then there are three different colors of dividers. So you can do by brand, yeah, by green, color, by property. Plain and turquoise. You've got green, turquoise, and then the craft color. So these are cool. You get 20 tabbed cards. Um, and you get a hundred um, of these sheets, so that's kind of cool. I need, you know, I spent a lot of money on my my Rolodex back. Do you in the have day. one? Do you still have one? No, I don't. Okay, well. But I had one that had the clear plastic. You got a cover. Dome cover. Flip it up and you I had one that was rotated. more, um, that was longer and bigger. Okay. So. All right. Well, Colodex. Fond memories. Um. Just another different way to organize your inks. Yes. So uh, next up is not necessarily a new product, but we thought we we ought to go over this because this question gets brought up all the time. And screwed up. And all screwed the time. up all the time. So um, Namiki Vanishing Point, the Rotten. Okay, so very pretty. Very pretty, very pretty. There are three three models: the Galaxy, the Water Surface, and the Water Stripe. Which one do you have? Uh, I have them. I have. I, have I just all, wanted you to <laughs> admit it on air. I have all three, plus I have the earlier version of the Run Galaxy. So, all right. um, which I make no bones about. I bring them to every show, and they're available for people to test. So, uh, in fact, when somebody asks to test a Vanishing Point at a show and they want to try a medium nib, they get one of the four runs that I own. You travel with all four? I usually do. <laughs> I, I usually do. They're it's so a pretty. Excessive, isn't it? Well, everything I do is excessive. Um, but anyway, so. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. <laughs> the, there, there, is this, there is this rumor that's going around that the Rodden Vanishing Point is being discontinued. Uh, I'm here to say that it's completely 100% false. I, I'm not sure where this rumor is stemming from. Um, it probably from the fact that the Rodden Galaxy is pretty much unavailable on everybody's website right now. It is just simply not available. Um, so here's the story. The, the water surface and the water stripe 
are available than maintain to be available. And those are the more expensive ones. Those are the more ones. expensive ones. They're okay. $800 MSRP, street price right now about $640. Right now, we also have to keep in mind that Pilot and Amiki are focusing on their 100th anniversary. So, so a excited. number of their artists are have shifted from working on their other projects, Machia, uh, Rodden, etc., to working on the 100th anniversary. So there's a very uh, severe shortage of of Machia coming out of out of Japan. Um, it's taking longer than expected. We just got a quote uh, last week on the uh, Nightline Moonlight is two years now. Um, so. So we're not getting rod and vanishing points with any, any frequency. Now, what has also happened in Japan, all three of the, the rod and vanishing points are the same price. In Japan. In Japan. The Galaxy. The United States is the only place where the rod and is actually cheaper. The rod and galaxy is cheaper than the, the water surface and the water stripe. Okay. Um, so in the U.S., it's like $304 street price on the Galaxy as opposed to $640. So it's half the price. And they're changing. Well, Japan, Pilot Japan wants to take that and they want to make that the same price in the United States. So they're going to take that same pen that you're buying at $304 and they're going to make it $640, essentially. Couple that with the fact that Namiki is probably at some point going to a full MSRP, no discount policy. Your $300 pen is now going to become an $800 pen. Buy it now. <clears throat> so, now, having said that and understanding that the Galaxy is pretty much not, we've been out of it for at least six months, nine months maybe. Okay. Um, there are more coming. They're coming from Japan. We don't know when. Uh, when they come, they will be sold at the, the old price, 304 bucks. Um, but when they're gone, they're gone. Okay. And they, they will be available. You could still buy them. Pilot USA is just not going to bring them in the United States because nobody, I, I don't think, and I think it's, it's, it's valid. No one's going to pay almost three times the price for the pen. So the pen is not being discontinued. No. But because it's less um, decorative, it's less, I don't want to say special because... It takes, it's, it's less precise. Okay. Um, and so... You know, they're just, they're, 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 they're sprinkling that on there. After we get this next batch, they are no longer going to bring, They're no it, longer into going to bring it into the in. country. So okay. it's still if you want to get it, you can go to Japan and you can find it. I'm sure, but okay, um, it's just not going to be brought in the U.S. because I just don't think anybody's going to buy it, not at that price. Well, we'll uh, find and out. secondary market, I'm sure, is going to be very strong once the price goes up. So, um, so again, to recap, Galaxy is not being discontinued. Um, it's just once it comes in, and whenever that's going to be, and we don't know. Um, it's going to be a last chance to get it at the old price. Okay. So, anyway, there's that. Do we need one? You have one. I have one. I'll just borrow yours. No, you won't. All right. Anyway, uh, back to new products. Okay. Looms. New yes. looms. Yes. I got in trouble last week. You got in trouble? Two weeks ago, whenever it was, whenever we talked about this. You yelled at me for saying that I thought that <laughs> Faber was crazy for getting rid of the metallics because I like the well, metallic better. And you know what? I like the metallic I like better. the metallic. They're nice. Um, these are nice metallic colors, but they're on the piano barrel. I know. They're cool. They're pretty colors. They're nice. I, I, I like it. You've got an olive, which is kind of a nice... Hold that baby up. Hold that up. Well, I'm assuming there's going to be a, a picture there. There will be a picture. Uh, so the olive, which I do like. Um, these are definitely more muted than the metallic uh, that we had before. Um, and they are on the shiny piano barrel, which is not my favorite of the two, but I'll learn to cope. Um, light blue, which is really kind of a, almost a... Almost a silver. Almost a sil this is silvery gray. Like an icy blue. Yeah, yeah, that's and a good then, way to put it, icy blue. And then we've got... Uh, I'm, I'm pretty good at that. You're good at that, yeah. yeah. And then you've got... The gray. The gray. So yep. there is a difference in mm -hmm, the color. Mm -hmm. um, but if you just look at the blue by itself, then... Um, uh, it may look silver. You know, and, and, and I, I like the ballpoints. We got the ballpoints, the roller balls. We do well with the ballpoints. Um, it, it's a nice, it's a nice size uh, because of the way it tapers and it slims down. It's actually, um, it actually fits pretty well in the hand. Um, and it's got a nice solid, you know, very German click to it when you stop, when you, when you roll it up. Okay. Open. So, 
Anyway, that's the new stuff for this week. Okay. Um, awesome. We have a question. We have a question of the week. We haven't done we this do. in a while. I know. I'm gonna okay. see if I can stump you. Oh boy. All right, ready? Why, why is it always me? Why do you always ask me the questions? Because I don't want to answer them. You've talked before about air travel with pets. Okay. I'll be taking a cross-country road trip this summer, and seeing as how you travel by car to all the U.S. pen shows, yes, we do, do you have any tips about car travel with pens? Um, first thing that comes to mind is in the summer or, and in the winter, don't leave your pens in your, in your car. Yeah, it's for, for a number pens of reasons. Pens and pets, don't leave them in the car. I think um, for, for a number of reasons that's bad. Number one, you, you don't want to have a risk of... The ink freezing when it's cold or the pen melting or being warped by the hot. heat. Yep, yep. Um, you also don't want to have, you know, don't leave your valuables in your car right. ever. So that's just uh, You know, the other thing we discovered <clears throat> was the first time we drove to L.A., um, we went through the Rockies, didn't even think about it. And when we got to mm -hmm. LA and we arrived at the show and we took out our testers to hand to somebody, they were- Big inky mess. Filled with ink. Big inky mess. Because of the altitude. Yep. Now, n certainly not as high as flying, but it was enough of a change in altitude that uh, several of the pens had leaked into the cap. We'd filled them before we yeah. left, or, yeah, or we, mostly we always, filled. We always, we always pretty much top them off, but it, still, it was enough. I think I, I took a Metropolitan out the hand of somebody, and it was, and I think it was the black one, yeah. so I, I couldn't see the ink, and then they, they grabbed it. And, yeah, it was, um, a couple of them were, were pretty big messes, so keep that in mind if you're traveling um, into the mountains. Uh, there, not every pen did it. No, uh, we, we, had, we had some outstanding uh, VAC 700s. Yes. You know, ink shut off, it was perfect. Um, some pens fared better than others, but um, again, it depends on how full they were. And I think I think the Metropolitans didn't didn't fare so well, but those are the, the old ones that had the, the Con 20, yes. the simplified Con 20 sack. So I don't think they were 100% full. Correct. Um, but for the most part, traveling in the car, not a big deal. No. Um, you know, it, I think it's if you're going into the mountains, in any mountainous region is going to be a problem. You know, Dave and I drove from Wisconsin to New, New Hampshire. And you were fine. Uh, I, yeah, I, I always carry with me probably close to 20 pens inked at any given time. Um, I just do. Just in case, you never know. I have like five in my purse and that's it. What do you do? You, you <clears> only <throat> have two hands. I know, but I have a case that holds 13, so I All have right. to fill it. But anyway, right. and then they were fine. They're absolutely fine. Uh, but that's fairly flat, right? You know, so right. okay. Um, we don't usually have any problems going going down south, but it's usually nope. going through the Rockies where we have a problem. So, mm -hmm. um, so that's that. All right, other news. AP Chicago this last weekend, uh, Retro Fifty One event with Jennifer Summers. Brian uh, brought me presents. Flew in from Dallas. Man, was that? Uh, you know, I, I didn't know what to expect, and it was it was a good time. Um, we had a lot of people turn out, which was which was exciting, and people were bringing uh, bringing old retros to show off. I saw I saw an old version of the Surf. Oh, cool! Uh, in wood, it was really really pretty cool, um, and everybody's getting excited. And of course, the the new lineup. We actually uh, we were able to um, acquire some some of the Buzz, which has been very popular and is sold out. I love um, the feel of that. That is yeah. so cool. They the, are so creative. The Corona, the Kiss. We had all we had all the new models there, and uh, and, it, and it was just fun to see people get excited over. They, they couldn't decide which, so they would take you know two of the, one of this, you know. And Jennifer brought prototypes. Yep. And Brian one -offs. brought me presents. I got presents. So the first thing I do is I go and I, I FaceTime her. Okay, okay, here we go. I actually took a picture of the tray. So. She brought, uh, I don't know, 15, 16 uh, one-offs. Um, and This one you can't see from there. Um, we'll, we'll show a close-up shot. It's um, black with red. It's black and gray and red striped. It's really, really cool. Um, I couldn't decide. I'm shocked that I, I only got, that I only took three. This one is green and gray and black. Acrylic. Um, acrylic, really, yep. really pretty. Yep. Um, and then this, which is unusual because they don't normally make acrylic pens, right? So 
Look at how adorable this is. The little, little mini. The little mini with the cutouts. Um, we got together Forget with... Forget what that one's called. We got me. together with um, the owner of Retro and some friends of his uh, a couple months ago. And um, the wife had a full-size pen of this. it was full-size. And yeah. she was talking... Maybe. I don't remember if it was mini or full size. It was very dark. And she was talking about yeah, how dark. long ago she'd gotten it, and, and they were reminiscing about it. And now I have one. I'm very so, excited. What did yeah, you get? Yeah, I, I picked up, um, I, I, I couldn't believe, these were really cool. So they had a couple of big shots. Uh, and these are, these are leather wrapped. Um, this one is very, really nice, beautiful pattern on it. Um, and then, so the first first day we each we each took one. I said, okay, well let's, let's not be greedy. Let's yeah. take one. If they sell, they sell. Um, and then the second day, I, I got up and I'm like, okay, well there's another one here that's got like this. It's like seatbelt material. Yeah, it's it's really a cool material. In fact, you can see where it joins in the back. There's a little bit of almost a fuzz there. Um, and uh, and then I decided I have this pretty much decided there's another one. This is a, a fairly plain kind of a. a I don't want to say boring pen, but it's 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 like gray. It, it's, it's not really kind of gray. a gray. It's a tannish, it's tannish a beige. Yeah, but with rose gold trim. But then on the top, where the disc is, the jewel is. There's actually fabric, fabric. on the top. So I decided I'm gonna. And look at these. How killer are these? So I didn't take them. I'm I'm in regret mode. Well, you still can. We still have. I them. know, and you are going to take these to I'm Miami. I'm going to take the remaining uh, prototypes, and I think we've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, there's going to be seven, seven one-offs, including um, including two more of these little mini guys. Aren't they so cute? Um, I'm going to be taking them to Miami, um, including there's a titanium pen in here. There's some really cool stuff um, that they they didn't make those two there. Those are neat. Um, this titanium one, they decided only to make it in the big shot, not in the standard right. model. So This is cool. Um, I'm going to be bringing those to Miami. Uh, they will not be available on the website, um, but uh, they will be a very reasonably priced. If you're a retro collector, come and see me in Miami, um, and I'll have them there. So, But exciting, we had we had all those. There were a couple more that, that did sell, um, and a nice display. We did it Friday, Saturday. A lot of people came in. It was very busy on Friday. Um, and uh, well, you know, they kind of have this cult following, and people, you know, I, I'm shocked at how many you have because you vowed you'd never have a rollerball, and then when well, the you know, it's like vanishing points. I don't collect them. And then one of them was I discontinued, and you were concerned that the Roosevelt was going to go I, away, I and was, you got one, and then very, it's been yes, downhill it ever has since. Been. So um, I've probably got twenty. I don't know how many I have, but uh, I may I may I, I may get them out. I have a little collection now. I do have a nice. I probably have. Fifteen. No, I don't have that many. Ten. I, I may I may have ten. I may have ten. I'm pushing twenty. So I should count them. Um, Maybe next week while you're gone, I'll take them out and I'll steal the tray I'll and the I'll tray. just lay them out and look. No, at them. It, it was it was a fun event. Uh, Jennifer's great. Um, just you know, it, it's fun to see somebody excited over over a retro, and uh, yeah. we had a good time. So, um, what are you doing next week? This week, uh, this week, Friday, and Saturday is uh, the big sailor event. Uh, so Scott Hammer, our rep, is coming uh, coming up over down wherever, probably not down, over. but over um, for that. And we're gonna have all sorts of stuff. We're gonna have uh, some Marushi King of Pens there. Uh, and some interesting things. I'll probably have some of the, the leather cases uh, and lots of good stuff. Um, good stuff, as Scott would say. And uh, come and see us, and we're going to have some giveaways and yes. um, some notebooks with purchase. And uh, first 25 customers a day are going to get a, a, a different kind of notebook. So you really could make out like a bandit. Um, and it's a sailor. We'll yeah. have the testers, so mm -hmm, you can try mm -hmm. all the different nibs. Yep. Um, and Scott is just so awesome, and his enthusiasm is infectious. Yep. Um, he's bringing some stuff too, so I don't know what he's bringing. So yeah. it'll be it'll uh, be fun. It'll be a fun event. You'll have a good time. Um, that is uh, this coming Friday and Saturday, June fifteenth and sixteenth. Friday is noon to five. Yep. Uh, and Saturday, ten to three. So um, and pretty much, you know, try to try to squeeze it in there. All sailor all day. All sa well, most of the day. Yeah. So anyway. That's what's going on in Chicago. Uh, is there anything else you want to talk about? I think we hit the high points. No, I don't think so. I, you know, summer is usually uh, the time when we've got nothing going on, and that's not the deal this this year. So, um, 
Brian's gone back to back to back three weeks in a row. Then we have the St. Louis, Louis show. show then up. you're down in Chicago for Yaffa. And then you're doing Miami. And yep. then you're home. And I'm not going to let you go anywhere. What are we doing? Isn't isn't there something after my after? There's Pilot and David Oscarson after Sailor. Well, yes, yes. Before St. Louis. I can't wait. Yep. Um, so it's just lots of excitement. Um, everybody here in Appleton is just trying to uh, keep going while you're gone. And... Not party too much. Oh, the boss is away. Everybody just goofs off. I, mean, I won't have had beer 30 for I know. like two months. I know. So. So. Anyway, all right. Well, I think that's it for this week. Tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Um, follow our blog for news, ink reviews, all sorts of other fun videos. And check us out on social media as Anderson Pets. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.